In this tutorial of Autodesk Revit, we will be drawing the reinforcement for a rectangular column. Previously in tutorials, we draw the reinforcement for beams and isolated footing. Now we'll be starting with reinforced concrete columns, which consists of primarily two types of reinforcement that is longitudinal reinforcement and the ties. We have already drawn the footing. So now I'll be drawing a reinforced concrete or simply a concrete column to start with. I'll go to elevation view and see the levels first. Select the column option and we have concrete column option by default otherwise we had to import it into from the Revit libraries so I'm using a 2 fit by 2 fit simple square column we will start from the footing level right now I'm not getting any snap so I'll move it I'll be drawing a detailed line joining the midpoints of both the sides so that at least I get a snap to place my column in the center of the footing First, hide the rebars. Now the column has been placed in the footing center. You can see the column is placed. You can change the level bottom bottom level from here and click on apply now the column is erecting from the top of the footing we need to cut a section from the column You can change the extents of the section to bring the whole column within the view which I have just done. Hide the elevation so that we have a clearer view for drawing our reinforcement. Let's draw the main bar of the column first. Use tab button to cycle between the selections. Now in order to specify the cover, 
at least a cover of 1.5 inches is required for the columns. So I'll draw a detail line for reference and then move the rebar over it. So the bar is already at the correct location, I guess. You can use the extent handle option from here or simply from the bar lens option you can specify the exact dimensions. The dimension D as let's say 12 inches. You can specify the bar diameter. Let's first duplicate the bars and specify the diameter. We are using a number 5 bar that is of 5 by 8 inches diameter. So now I have mirrored the already drawn bar. In a similar manner, I have to mirror the bar in the other direction. But first, save the model. So we have drawn so far two main bars of the column. Now specifying the cover for the bar, we are going to move the bar to a distance of 1.5 inches from the boundaries. Now let's mirror the rebar. And similarly on the two other sides remaining. Now we will be drawing the tie bar. The bar shape T1 seems reasonably okay. Now the bend diameter looks quite high and the bar diameter as well. So let's make it a half inch bar and change the bar diameter to half inches. And similarly reduce the bent diameters.
now we can adjust the main bars according to the bent diameters and their location the bent diameter is 1 inches however the bar diameter is 5 by 8 inches so we can further reduce the bent diameter to 5 by 8 inches to exactly fit the rebars if we use the number 6 bar as main bar then this seems to be fit nicely to view the bars in 3d view as solid I have selected the options now my bar is visible in 3d view as well now we need to edit the number of stirrups first of all hide the footing for a clearer view we have to select all the bars and make them visible to view them as solid we have to select the option now they are visible as the solid let's edit the number of tie bars with spacing these spacing and the number of bars will come from the design you can use your respective code and specify this number since the top bar seem to be overlapping each other so we need to fix this and similarly for the other side Now let's see all the bars which we have drawn 
along with a reinforced concrete rectangular column in 3D and unhide the hidden bars. That is how we draw the reinforcement for the columns including the main bars and tie bars for a reinforced concrete column.